Hello, math makers, and thank you for joining me for another math lesson. We are continuing our unit on addition. Our last lesson, of course, was on adding using an open number line. If you missed that, I'll put a link in the description. But today we're going to use models for addition. Now, models we've used before. We just finished a unit on place value models and counting up our hundreds, tens, and ones. And we should remember how to do that. Um, if not, you can, again, you can go back and find those as well. Um, but I want to do a quick reminder of what we're going to be using today in there. Now, this is a review. You might remember this already, but I just still want to touch it just in case your mind's a little bit foggy. All right, so this is a one. That little bitty square right there is a one. And ten ones make a ten. This is a ten. And each square in that ten is worth one. And we can count those real easy. Count those with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can see that ten ones make a ten. So now, of course, now this is still a ten, and ten tens make a hundred. This is a hundred. And each column or row is worth ten on a hundred. And we see the columns going up and down, and we see the rows going side to side. And we can count those um, easily as well. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten columns, and that's ten tens. And we can count them by ten, two. Count with me 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm sure I just heard you count those. And um, so you can see that 10 tens make 100. So as a reminder, that's a 1. This is a 10. And this is a 100. Now some addition terms I want us to make sure we remember is when we're adding and we have an equation, the addition problem is called an equation. The two numbers you're adding, those are called add-ins. And the answer to an addition question is called a sum. Sometimes you might hear it called a total or even some total, but usually we call it a sum. These numbers that we're adding are each made up of digits. And digits are the numerals that make up a number. So for instance, 75 here is a two-digit number because you see two digits. There's also three different ways we can write a number. We have the standard form, which most of you are pretty good at, 234. We have the word form, 234. Don't forget your hyphen in between the, the tens and the ones. And then we have expanded form or expanded notation. And we can break that 234 into 200 plus 30 plus 4. You actually really need to know that for what we're doing today, just like you really needed to know that for adding on an open number line. So with all that said, Let's get started. We're going to practice maybe three or four questions, and then that will be the end. But I just want to make sure I'll walk you through how to do these. All right? We'll start with an easier one first. 321 plus 146. So, step one. We're going to build the first add end. We have the number here, 321. So we built three hundreds, one, two, three, two tens. That's your 20 and your one. So that's 321. Next. You're going to build the second add end, and we had 146. So you have 100, four tens for 40, and six ones for six. Third, you're going to put all those place value blocks together, or base 10 blocks together. So I took them all and I pushed them together. So now I have four hundreds, which makes 400. I have six tens, that makes 60. And I had seven ones, that makes seven. And in case you're wondering, where you, are you sure that's correct? Of course it is. I have 3 here, plus 1 is 4, 2 and 4 is 6, and 1 and 6 is 7, which is exactly what I got right here. And then I add those numbers up. And this is the last thing. You add them up. 400 plus 60 plus 7 is 467, which means 321 plus 146 is 467. Pretty easy, huh? Let's do one more. Or let's do a couple more. So this one is 234 plus 425, and this is going to be a little bit easier too. And I'm going to do two at the end that are a little bit harder, not real hard, just a little bit harder than this. So again, step one, build the first add-in. How many hundreds do I have? Two, that's right. How many tens do I have? Three, because I see a three in the tens place, and then I see four in the ones place, and of course I have four. 
What's the next step? Build the second at end. So we had 425, so I'm going to have four hundreds, two tens for 20, five ones for five. Do you remember what to do next? Push them all together. Now you can look here and let's see if we're correct. <clears throat> we have two hundreds and four hundreds, so that should give us six, right? Three tens and two tens should give us five tens. Four ones and five ones should give us nine ones. So let's see if I have six, five, and nine. And I do, six hundreds, five tens, nine ones. Now I can just add those up together. Six hundreds makes six hundred, five tens makes fifty, nine ones makes how much? Nine. Add those up. Six hundred plus fifty is six hundred fifty, plus nine, six hundred fifty-nine, which means two hundred thirty-four plus four hundred twenty-five is six hundred fifty-nine. <clears throat> now, this is for the basic numbers. Sometimes it doesn't work out so easily. And I want to make sure you know how to work with those. So the next two questions are going to be questions that require, I'm going to slow down a little bit, <clears throat> and I want to make sure you understand how to add up different kinds of numbers. So now I have a number, 123 plus 239. And you're probably looking at those and saying, but those numbers are a little bit smaller. I know, but this question is still a little bit tricky if you're not careful. So do you remember step one? That's right, build the first add end. So I have 100, two tens, three ones. So I built 100, two tens, three ones. What's the next step? That's right, I build this second add end. Two hundreds, three tens, nine ones. I'm going to build that. Two hundreds, three tens, nine ones. <clears throat> now the next step, do you remember it again? I bet you already do. Put it all together. Now, we're going to, when I look at this, of course, I see three hundreds, I see five tens, and I see nine, ten, eleven, twelve ones, which is exactly what I should have, and I do. Three hundreds, five tens, twelve ones. We have a problem. <clears throat> There's this rule. You can't have more than nine in any of these columns. And we have more than nine in one of them. We have 12. So we have too many ones. We have to regroup. You've probably heard your teacher say regroup. Regroup is what happens when you have too many in a column. So if I have too many ones, I have to move some. Now, let's think about how we started. How many ones did we say makes a 10? That's right, 10. So we're going to take 10 of those away and we're going to trade it for a 10 because we have 10. So let's go ahead and turn it into a 10. Just like if I have 10 pennies, I might want a dime instead. So we're going to take those 10 ones and we're going to turn it into a 10. I still have my original five, but now I have one more. There would be 12 ones, but I'm taking away 10 and I'm moving it over here, which means now I have six tens, see there's my five plus my new one, my ten ones are gone and I still have two left, but now we can add them up. These, hopefully you saw what we did there. We're going to do another one too that has a similar situation. So I have three hundreds, six tens, how much is six tens worth? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then I have two ones. So three hundred plus sixty is three hundred sixty plus two is three hundred sixty-two which means 123 plus 239 is 362. Let's do one more and then we'll be done. Um, this one is going to be a little bit tricky, just like the other ones. See if you can find the problem because there's going to be one. So let's look at it first. We're going to add 264 plus 352. All right, what's step one again? Build the first number. So I have 264. That's two hundreds, six tens, four ones, and I'm going to build that. Oh, I didn't put enough hundreds there. Let me build another one. I can't believe I forgot that. So now I have two hundreds, six tens, four ones, and then I'm going to build the second number, 352. That's three hundreds, five is for five tens, two is for two ones. Now that we've built it, we're going to put them all together. Now let's look and see what we should have. 
We should have five hundreds, 11 tens, because 6 and 5 is 11, and 6 ones. And if you're not sure if that's 11, just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you can always count them if you're not sure if your math is correct. Third, we're going to put them all together. Five hundreds, eleven tens, six ones. We have a problem. Do you see the problem? What is the problem? We have too many tens. Remember our rule? We can't have more than nine. Once you have ten, you have to move them over. Whether it's ten ones to a ten, ten tens to a hundred, or for even bigger numbers, you could do ten hundreds to a thousand, which we haven't gotten to yet. So, regardless, we have too many tens, we have to regroup. Now, remember how many tens make a hundred? Ten, that's right. So, we're going to take these ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to regroup. We're going to turn these ten into a hundred. So, I slid my little extra hundred down here. And of course, in my next slide, you're going to see those tens go away because I've moved them over here. So now, instead of five hundreds, I have six hundreds. Instead of eleven tens, I have one because I moved it over here. I still have my six ones. That didn't change. I didn't have to change that. So now that I've done that, I can count it up. Six hundreds makes how much? Six hundred. That's right. One ten, of course, is. 10, and 6 ones is how much? 6. Do you know what the answer is? See if you can figure it out before I click to the next slide. 600 plus 10 plus 6. 600 plus 10 is 610 plus 6 is 616, which means our answer to 264 plus 352 is 616. Guys, you did great. Um, I hope that this helps you kind of understand how we do that, especially the regrouping part. I don't want anybody to mess up on that, and that's why we did two problems with regrouping. Guys, you're working hard. You're getting better. You're making math easier just by showing up. Thank you so much. And until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day.